Hi, I'm Brandi McDonald, arts and entertainment writer for the Oklahoman and News OK, and I have with me today Oklahoma native, uh, movie star, <laughs> I film icon award winner, Ryan Merriman. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Congratulations. Good because you are here for Dead Center Film Festival and they named you an Oklahoma Film Icon winner. Yeah. Oklahoma yeah. Film Icon. Those are some big words. That is. It's a, it's a humbling uh, a humbling title for sure. Yeah. I, I've been doing it for a long time. I've been very blessed, you know, 22 years, but an icon, I think I still got some work to, to earn that one, but <laughs> I, I feel honored. Well, you have been doing this a, a long time and you, you started as a, like a, Disney star, like I've had so many people going, oh, Ryan Merriman, insert Luck of the Irish, or you know, whatever right. Disney thing that they loved growing up with. Is that kind of an interesting experience for you to know that like people grew up with you from the time you were little? And I mean, I think it's great for, you know, the fans, I've, I've been lucky, you know, like I said, I've been blessed, very blessed to start at a young age and continue to work, mm -hmm. uh, you know. I think three years ago, 42, was, you know, huge number one movie in America with Harrison Ford. and get to come home and do stuff like this, Jurassic Games. Uh, I think it's all about, you know, just 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 never staying in one place at, at, uh, for too long. So yeah, I started off on Disney and, and kind of kept uh, going as a, a young man. And, and now I guess icon age status, maybe. Nice. <laughs> you still look great for an icon. Which thank you, thank you. Um, but you have done a lot of like varied projects. You started out on Disney Channel, you did 42 with Chaswick Boseman before he got to be Black Panther, um, the Black and then Panther, you know yeah. now now you're doing um, got to come home to Oklahoma and do an indie uh, film, a, a dinosaur, Hunger Games, Jurassic mm -hmm. Park mashup kind of thing. How, so how, is it just a question of like choosing things that are interesting to you? Yeah, I mean I think you know once uh, once you get over that like I need to be this or that or that it's it's more as an actor it's more fun to just what kind of what really opened your eyes and, and, and it would be fun for you. And when I read the script, I, I play um, a twisted Ryan Seacrest, basically. Uh, Michelle DeLong, uh, a local casting director and, and one of my uh, first acting coaches and still a very, very good friend, she, she sent me the script, actually. She said, read this, you know, and let me know what you think. And I was, I was hooked. And then I knew I could, you know, do it here in Oklahoma. And, and uh, I actually have a house here. Uh, now, so we, my my wife and I moved back two years ago. So nice. there's a trailer right here. Yeah. yeah, that's me in the mask, playing evil Ryan Seacrest. Evil Ryan Seacrest. Look at the graphics. That's crazy. So now, is this something that is just sort of like, just fun to? I mean, is it just sort of like, ooh, I get to do something. I get to be evil and hang out with dinosaurs, and it's going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, I I obviously when I bought my house here and finally like said let's let's get out of LA I it's always very very rewarding when you can work in your home state you know drive to set from your house and I think there's so many talented people here and and there's so much that Oklahoma has to offer for filmmaking that I as soon as I knew the people involved in the idea and you know Perry Reeves obviously is very very well-known actress um, I was I was on board 100% so it's it's about it's about doing what what you want to do, what's fun, but it's also about creating a more of an industry here in Oklahoma too. Is it nice to get to bring um, some star power to a, to an independent local film? I mean, what yeah, I don't I'm a, yeah, I'm a country boy from Choctaw. I would never say icon or star, but uh, but yeah, I've been I've been blessed. Like I said, I've been very lucky to continue to work for this long. So, well, and I understand that you um, obviously you guys did a lot of like green screen kind of things and. Stuff like that with a with a film like that. Since we don't have real dinosaurs here in Oklahoma, we have lots Absolutely. of things, but not real dinosaurs. Lots of fossils. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> I think you guys also did some location shooting in Robbers Cave and, and some areas like that. So how was that to go on location? Uh, get to show off some of the gems that we have here in Oklahoma. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what that's what this movie does is it, it'll showcase to a lot of producers and and other production teams that you know that we have sand dunes, we have mountains, we have swamps, we have uh, you know rolling hills, we have big cities, we have desolate cities, you know, there's, there's so many uh, backdrops that Oklahoma provides and that's why I think this movie's, you know, such a good calling card for filmmaking in Oklahoma. Yeah, and I understand that you guys, um, the cast and crew stayed overnight at Robert's Cave and that um, you make a really awesome onion burger. Oh, yeah? The rumors that, that, that I'm That made hearing. its way around here? Oh, I do love to cook. I do love to cook and uh, 
it was a fun crew. You know, I think, I think if you've been in the business long enough, you kind of figure out that every movie is, is like a camp and we're all, we're all in the same boat together. So, uh, we all got along great and, and we had about, um, it was something like 20 pounds of hamburger meat or something like that. And I said, I got it. Give me, give me some onions and a, and a flat top. We were actually shooting at a, when we stayed, it was, it was either an old army barracks or, or some sort of camp. Uh, but we had a huge kitchen, huge. And, and yeah, I cooked, I cooked about 40 hamburgers, I think that day. Nice. Yeah, it was Good. fun. Those are handy skills to have on. Yeah, the, the Miller lights were going too. So that was, that always really helps when you're cooking nice. for a long time. So what did you think whenever you got to see footage with the dinosaurs? Cause that's all that's of course happens in post and things like that. I mean, what did you think whenever you got a chance I mean, to see the dinosaurs? Yeah. You know, Ryan, Ryan Belgarth, the director, he's, he's such a, a genius when it comes to kind of explaining like you know the drone is be here and you'll see the you'll see the dinosaur there and it's kind of funny to think about that you know I'm sure that's gonna pop out at me but uh, he did a really good job of explaining it and I've worked with you know CGI and green screen before so it's really it's really just it's more of a fun challenge for the actor to you know rather than acting with something and looking at something and and actually seeing it is, is imagining it but that's kind of what we do anyway so it wasn't too bad so now you um, sort of don't go along you didn't go along with that stereotype that people have of the child actor who goes crazy and then you know <laughs> is in a ditch somewhere or something so right. do you attribute some of that to your Oklahoma background or what has your Oklahoma sort of background done for you oh a, yeah a hundred percent no I, I mean I like I, you know I played football uh, in in high school at junior high I you know I played baseball I, I still have the same best friends from uh, you know six sixth grade uh, we still talk every day and and when i'm home most of us eat lunch every day so you know it was never it was just my job you know i mean some people sell cars some people you know build cabinets and i do movies but uh, yeah i've never i guess my family and my friends really did you know ob obviously keep me grounded i hope so <laughs> and you stay pretty pretty busy so what projects do you have coming up um i have uh i have another film a western uh that's supposed to be coming out it's called east of yuma and I just signed a deal on another project. I can't really say what it is, but it's kind of a, a paranormal uh, activity kind of thing, a uh, ghost hunter thing that I'm gonna be doing in LA. Uh, I actually leave next weekend, so. Nice. So do you just like to do a little bit of everything? I mean, you've done sports drama and dinosaur evil host, and now you're gonna do something paranormal? Like yeah. Like Western? And, yeah. yeah, I do. I mean, you know, you gotta kind of, you know, pick and roll and morph into whatever whatever it is so I also I, I totally forgot really a really really cool project called sunny days uh, it's kind of a true story uh, it's based off of uh, uh, someone I know and and um, the director he wrote it directed it starred in it Jason Wiles um, he actually did a TV series here that we shot called in the rough which was like a redneck caddyshack uh, that was on uh, rated red uh, and uh, and that's going to be coming out probably sometime end of this year, I would think, as well. Sunny days, D A Z E. D A Z. -E. Yeah. Okay. And are you you're enjoying living back in Oklahoma? I guess. Yeah, yeah. Good I, stuff. Even when I was in LA, you know, doing whatever, I always, my mom would always say it's like one day I'm on a red carpet and the other day I'm on a four wheeler, you know, picking off ticks. So. <laughs> Keeps you uh, grounded. I guess. Yes, ma'am. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So. Well, how are you enjoying Dead Center so far? Today is the opening day of Dead Center. You guys have got a big premiere coming up tomorrow night. Yeah. Of Jurassic Games. How's it going? It's been, I mean, it literally just dodged the biggest thunderstorm I think I've ever seen this year. And, and uh, I just got dressed and came here. So this is my first stop, but I'm excited. We brought that flash flood in just for you. Thank so you, you, thank you. Know what it was like to be back here in Oklahoma. So. Yeah. All right, well. Again, we have lots of Dead Center coverage at Oklahoman and NewsOK.com. And thanks for coming in today. And Thank you. Um, we appreciate your time. All right. Good to see you again. Good to see you.